Hello, my name is Jenny McDonald, and I'm here to talk about my new album, Bye Bye Mr. Blues Man. Well, my, my first album is more of kind of a folk rock pop, kind of more classical singer-songwriter style. Uh, and this one definitely is kind of blues and swing influenced. And part of it is that I spent two years in a jazz and blues music program uh, through the NSCC. But mostly it's, it's always been the kind of music that I enjoyed listening to. It was never really the kind of music that... I performed and that wasn't out of choice, it just things kind of went in a different direction. Um, but that's the kind of music that I like to sit in my car and listen to some Stevie Ray Vaughan and Bonnie Raitt and that kind of stuff. And uh, so I decided I wanted to make an album that I would enjoy listening to if I were the listener. And um, part of it of course came out of kind of hooking up with the Hupman brothers and playing a lot of music with them, um, which started almost two years ago and, and we met in an open mic in Wolfville. And, I would go down and play all the time and Ryan would come out and play and I always wanted to kind of have this blues style of music but it's it's something that relies heavily on good musicianship and so it took a while to get the right people in the right place at the right time uh, to come together and, and that's sort of how that happened. My experience in even starting uh, as a young teenager in singing, I started taking singing lessons uh, with a, a nun in Anaganesh when I was about 13. I didn't want to do classical music. I didn't. I started kind of doing some classical folk and would go through the conservatory, and I didn't enjoy the material. And I didn't find that I was able to uh, put some passion and emotion and stuff into that. And I really like a kind of raw, raw sound. So I started doing, with her, I started doing music theater is kind of where it started. And then um, when I went off to university and I told my parents that I was going to university for music, I said, but I, I basically refused to go to a classical music program. It's kind of classical or jazz are your two choices. So jazz, on, on that end, jazz was always kind of more where I was pulled towards. 
I didn't really think of it as as that daunting. I think of it as more fun. <laughs> I think singing jazz is fun, and it's true that jazz can be more difficult in a lot of aspects, technically and in other ways. But that's really where I find I'm able to express myself and and those kinds of things. So、um, I didn't really think, oh my god, this is going to be really hard. I was like, yeah, this is going to be really exciting. <laughs> Scott Hupman engineered the album, and between him and I, we produced it together. We didn't have anybody else come in, and I remember having a conversation in a parking lot of a cafe that they just played at, and we had talked about recording for a long time. And I said, "Okay, we're we're finally going to do this, right? We're actually going to sit down." I had finished school, and we both had some time that we were able to do it. And he said, "Yeah, but I'm not going to record anything." Too polished, too perfect, and he's like, I want mistakes, and I want if that's going to make the raw energy come out. And he goes, I'm, I'm not into you know overly produced, manufactured stuff. And I said, Perfect, you're exactly the person I want to do this album. And、um, with the first album, it was my first time in the studio ever, and I really needed that guidance of somebody who who was in the business for a while and knew what they were doing.、Uh, but this one, I took some recording、uh, through university and. Took the business and took the music and took all that kind of stuff and really just wanted to kind of sit and do it ourselves and we did it in a combination of、uh, the welding shed out in Ryan Hupman's house and Scott Hupman's house out in the mountain and we didn't use a, a studio we just took the computer and packed it in the van and went where we had the space to do it and I think that you really get that kind of raw genuine energy out of it out of doing it by that process. Actually, one of the biggest things for me was because I'm a little bit of a control freak, and I mean they're kind of my songs, and I have an idea of, of what I want on them. And the biggest thing is we have ten musicians in total on the album, including myself, and everybody has a different personality, and everybody works differently. And some people read music, and some people don't read music, and and some people speak music, and some people just do everything by ear. And and that, I mean, communication was a really Big thing, to how to get your message across. But I also kind of learned to loosen the reins a little bit and just let them do what they do. Because、um, there's a reason that I didn't record saxophone on the album because I'm not a saxophone player. So I have to trust the person who is a saxophone player, just as an example,、um, that they know what's best with their instrument. And to kind of keep my uh, uh, direction more in the the style that I want to come out of it, and let them. Do what they do, and just kind of let them go. And that's when we would get a lot of the best takes, where I'd say, "Well, what do you like? Just try something."、And、there's a couple takes that we have on there that ended up on the album, which were actually just kind of a a sound check. And Scott went, "Yep," because you weren't thinking about it at all, and that just came out perfect. 
And so I learned to loosen the reins a little bit, I think. I hope. <laughs> it out I feel like this is kind of uh, my baby and I finally came out with uh, with the one that makes me happy and I'm happy that so far it's been making other people happy but really this is uh, one that I look at or put on in the car put on in the car and and just kind of smile about it and I'm, I'm really glad that it came out and and uh, really happy to have a lot of really great talented friends and family they're kind of family all the musicians you f- play with they're all my family, so I'm happy to have them. I've been dreaming of something beautiful. I see it in the clouds. And in my dreams, we take the hardest words and speak them all out loud. It's a Picture perfect romance 